everybody, here we are, Vegemites. We're in a village somewhere in Bali and we've got all of the King Cobra gurus of Bali in the one area forming our team of about seven people. We're doing a little bit of um, snake education for the village at the moment. Agus is presenting a tikus, a rat snake, to the villagers. Cobra kan boleh. Nanti kalau dapat baru kita bawa di sini. Niki untuk penanganan gigitan ularnya Pak Nge. Berban. Just give it to the snake rack. Sampunang angin tali negul kita. Kalau digigit lebih wah cobra. Now we're going to do a bit of first aid, a bit of a snake bite first aid for the lapids that live here. And this snake bite first aid would be for crates, land crates, sea crates, uh, spitting cobras, and also the king cobra, which is what we're going to go in search for today. So the cobra's being spotted around this area, and the villagers aren't happy about it for obvious reasons, so we, we'll catch the snake hopefully and relocate it to another area. This is a rat snake, Mucosus, and this is one of the favourite prey items of the king cobra. And we will release this snake today as well, while we're here, somewhere on the travel. I remember I was in uh, New Mexico with the uh, local Indian and the kids love the snakes so they wanted to come over and play with the snakes but the parents were like, no, no, don't touch the snake. You can look at it but you can't touch it, they're very superstitious about it. Dada. 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 Okay, there's one released for good luck. The Tikus, which is the rat snake. Two species of rat snake here. In Bali. We've got the local villagers down here. They're like, oh, you come to find the snake? These guys have seen the king cobra. Obviously, they don't want it uh, in where they're working, so we'll find out. Hello, Abakabar. Ken Ken Kabare. Bacek, Bacek. Bacek, Bacek. Bacek, Bacek. Bacek, Bacek. Oh. Di sini ular? Kurang tahu juga. Oh, terkadang? Kadang-kadang ular biasa. Oh. So king cobras are usually shy and they don't hang around people that much but the problem is we we're attracting rats and mice with our chickens and bird seed and the chickens there they are speak of the devils so they're attracting the rats and the mice which attract the rat snakes and the spitting cobras and then the king cobra will come to eat those and that's when uh, that's the, about the only time that they're going to come into an area where there's humans so this is the area around here that we're going to try and find. Okay, so we're checking around the bamboo. And it's nesting season at the moment, so 
the females love nesting right in this thick stuff. The only species of snake that builds a nest which incubates the eggs. Uh, usually around 40 to 50, maybe 60 eggs. And uh, yeah, got to be very careful because they will protect the nest as well. Trekking through the bush, looking for the largest species of venomous snake in the world. It's not everyone's cup of tea. <sighs> Some might say it's a little crazy. A big part of me would love to find four meter king cobra. Awesome. Another part of me maybe happy to find not much at all. That part's probably the common sense. They're a gnarly snake. They're the, the biggest species. The largest species of venomous snake in the world. <clears throat> big ones get over five meters, over 10 kilos. They got big fangs, about 12 millimeters, and they punch a lot of venom, a lot of venom. It's not the most toxic venom out there, but they have enough, enough to take out an African elephant, which would take some, a considerable amount of time, four or five hours maybe, but a human, take you out in 30 to 40 minutes if you're unlucky. So. King Cobra's a highly intelligent serpent. And why you think that you're looking for it? If there's one here, it's probably looking at me right now just sitting there. That's how intelligent they are. You would already know we're here and it would probably already see us. Their eyesight's awesome and they can stand up a third of their body length as well. So if it's a four metre snake, you can stand up like this and have a look around. It's in the bamboo, its head can be just sticking up like that, looking right at you. And then as soon as it sees you, it can just disappear back into there. Cobra. This one's about a three meter specimen and they will get up and over five meters is a big one. Records around six and I'm just going to see if I can bring him up. The largest species of venomous snake in the world. What a ripper. Have a look at him. He's found throughout Southeast Asia from India right down through Indonesia. And you can see he means business. <laughs> now he's, a, he's an elaborate front fang snake. Fang, the fangs are fixed at the front. He does have a lot of venom. What he lacks in potency, he makes up for in punch. So, you see that mouth opening? Highly intelligent snake, the King Cobra. What a ripper. And you can see what makes him extra dangerous is he can move forward and strike at the same time. A lot of other Cobras will hold that position and strike down. He can also turn and come back on me pretty quick if he wants to, so you've got to watch out for that as well. Highly intelligent snake. He's mainly a crepuscular hunter in the early morning and late afternoons. They're primarily daytime diurnal snakes and he has the round pupil to prove that. Uh, however, they can be active at night time as well, on a hot summer night. And he's got really good vision. They can spot things moving 
from more than 100 or well, more than 50 meters away. They say up to about 100 feet away. So another thing that makes him the king is he's got a crown of large scales on his head and he also eats other venomous snakes. Now it's mating season now so the males will actually fight each other for the female and they don't bite each other and they don't waste their venom on each other they're actually immune to each other's venom but what he does do is they'll get on top of each other and wrestle they'll push each other down and once the bigger stronger more dominant male pushes himself down pushes himself down on the other snake that's the winner and usually the the loser will go be puffed out go away and he'll mate with the female now the female constructs a nest and is the only species of snake that constructs a nest which incubates the eggs. She also, she also will protect that clutch of eggs. Now the eggs can be uh, 40 to 50, maybe 60 on a massive clutch. So quite a lot, quite a lot of eggs. Look at that face, look at that. Right into the eyes. Now king cobras, being primarily reptile hunters, they love eating other snakes, they're immune to other snakes' venom. They can eat spitting cobras and other cobras in other countries. And they can even tackle pythons. This one will take on smaller reticulated pythons and eat them. The venom subdues the prey. And what they do is they walk their fangs along the scales against the grain up to the head of their prey item. And then they'll swallow it down whole piece by piece. I've got him by the tail so he can't reach the cameraman is the plan. But you've got to watch, they can spin around quite quick like that. They'll also eat geckos and other lizards. That they're primarily reptile hunters and the name Ophiophagus is uh, translate to snake eater. So, epic snake, the largest species of venomous snake in the world. Now with a lot of these snakes that eat other snakes, like king snakes as well, they grab on and they hang on. So you don't want to get bitten by one of these snakes. If it bites you, it's going to hang on and pump a bunch of venom into, into you. It's got the two main fangs, fixed fangs at the front, hypodermic needles pumping in that massive amount of venom. Also, on the bottom rows as well, he's got teeth there. So he's got over 20 teeth in his mouth as long as, as well with those two big fangs. Alrighty. You can see he's different to other cobras as well. He's not actually from the genus Nadra. He's got his own genus. And the, the, the ribs are elongated along the ribs right down. And that enables him to flare out that hood like that. A lot of the other cobras, spectacle cobras and spitting cobras, have just the spoon shape. They actually call them a spoon snake in Indonesia. This guy's got the long hood which goes all the way down and slowly tapers off into the neck. So he's not a cobra like the other cobras, he's the king cobra. And a lot of the other videos on YouTube that you'll see, have a look because half of them aren't even king cobras that they're talking about. They've got pictures of spectacle cobras and monocle cobras. Now the king cobra has that shape that we're looking at right now. It tapers off very slowly down. So there we go. Largest species of venomous snake in the world. What a ripper. Oh, this made my day. Finally, we found one. Alrighty, so what we're going to do is we're going to let this guy go. I'll bring him up to the camera one more time. So we can get a good look at him. Yes, what a ripper. Ripper reader. King Cobra. Alright buddy, thanks for joining us on Awesome Animals TV. We're going to let this guy go on his way slowly. And also want to demonstrate to you that even though he's right there, once I get out of his distance, give him a bit of room to breathe. He's an intelligent snake. He's 
going to make his way slowly away from us. But that might take some time, so... All right, guys, thanks for, thanks for joining us on Awesome Animals TV. I want to look at the camera, but I can't because this guy's watching me. Remember, keep it wild, and I'll catch you next time. See you, buddy. Off you go. one happy king cobra.